Ladies and gentlemen of the side web and the outer nets, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, Merry International Spaghetti. So I figured since I've got to be at church in just about an hour, I'm going to show you how to tie the correct knot. And that would be the double Windsor, okay? It's, so all I'm saying is this is an easier way to tie. It, you look much nicer. If the politicians knew how much less shysty they looked by tying a nice, even-sided knot. All right, so you take the tie here. And the most important thing you got to do for the Windsor is know you need an extra lot more than you would for your typical single Windsor knot. Okay, so you go one, two, three, and a half. Okay, that's about what I do. Sometimes that's not enough, but we'll see. It's a nice long tie. Anyway, you come around like that. I'm going to go fast, and then I'll take it slow. Then you come around behind, and you come back around. And you go around the front, and you come around the back. Okay, so you already got it nice. And this is how you check. It should stop right about your belt. Don't listen to people that say you should leave one buttonhole. Pull. Anyway, you pull it down. You do it like this. And you tighten it up. You straighten this out here. Make it nice and tight, and it gives you the beautiful, beautiful little fold. All right. And you know you went too short if it doesn't reach the thing. If it doesn't reach the little flap on the bottom there. But there you go. Okay? That's a little long. It's a little long, but... Anyway, now we'll do it step by step slowly, okay? And i got to move quickly, because it's in the interest of shortness. Again, the correct way to tie a double Windsor knot. We'll go a little lower this time because I was a little bit high. So we'll go one, two, three, and we'll go all the way to four this time. Fourth button. Alright. So, I'll go slower. Take the, the longer end, come around the front. Around the front, make your first loop. It's a nice strong grip here, switch hands, alright? Around, under the back through the middle. Pull it out. You got your first loop. Okay? So you come around the back, cross the other side, bring it out the front, tuck it down. You have your second loop. One loop, one loop. That's a double knot. Okay? Now you're left on this side. You bring it across, covering both, come around underneath everything, bring it up, and there you go. The only thing missing is you just double check. See, we're a little bit higher this time. So, all you do at this point is you take this, stick it inside your loops, and then here's the real trick, okay? First of all, you see how nice and neat that is? It's even-handed, even-sided. All right, now this is the thing. You just level it out and tighten it up, tighten it up. Tighten it up, and it gives you a nice little fold at the top. Pull it down, tighten it up, and it gives you a nice little fold. Then, when you're ready to slide up, you just put your thumb on the back, poke it around, and there you go. Now, I'm still, I'm still too high, so I gotta tuck it into my shirt. <laughs> but you got a nice, just try to make sure it's not beveled there. Flip the collar down. I know that it is up to you, but for me, I trust people that can wear a nice even knot a lot better than I trust people that are coming in all crooked. It's like they didn't have a V8 or something. Merry Christmas, Happy Spaghetti, Midnight Mass, 2017. Merry Christmas.